Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Ron Johnson, life coach, motivational speaker. I'm here to inspire you, motivate you. You know you have a choice and you can be anything you want in this world. So today's topic is going to be about letting go. I'm quite sure everybody out there has heard that term. Let go of the past, let go of those feelings, that's old, that, that you should get rid of that. Let me tell you why it's so important. A lot of the times in our journey, in our life, our experiences is what we experience in a subjective world. And what that really means is that things we go through is based upon what we experienced in our past. And our past charts are joined towards our current destination. So you can't be where you are without the past. And obviously we can't predict the future, so it becomes where we are. Take for example, you're in a relationship. He or her, you guys had a great relationship for five years and um, someone lied or someone cheated. Okay. Now let's say the person that was cheated on you no, know, you guys break up and you go into a new relationship. Even though that relationship has ended and even though that relationship is old and you moved on, inherently, subconsciously, those past experiences will hold you accountable with your current relationship. And what that means is that if you go through a relationship and the same kind of trend shows up again, immediately the body says, hey, think, keep yourself safe. That's going to happen again. And guess what will you do? You start clamming up, closing up, letting off, you know, investigating certain things. Now granted, sometimes it may be a great intuition. But always, sometimes things we experienced before will not chart the same journey we experience now because everything is all subjective. So what we experienced before may not be what we experience in the future. Okay? So it's like this. Imagine that way you had a 50-ton brick in your arms, right? And your past was that 50-ton brick. If you carried it around for five years, I'm quite sure, or six months, whatever it may be, it's going to get heavier and heavier. And as you chart life daily, yearly, and monthly, that brick can get heavier with your past experiences. The way to get let go of your past experience, anything in life, is allow you to come up. And, and don't repress those feelings. Allow it to come up. Knowing that things you experienced before were just in that moment of time. That's not your current future or your current state. It's all subjective. Now, you may say, Ron, you know what? I experienced something bad in my past. I just can't let it go. Of course. Who said let it go? I'm saying allow those feelings to show up, assessing what they are, what can you learn from them, and how you can manifest them better. So if you don't let them come up, acknowledge them, what have you learned, and how to proceed forward, those feelings will manifest into thoughts. Thoughts and manifest into action. And sometimes certain actions are not good, right? How many times in life have you heard people say, well, I thought it was this, but actually they were completely wrong, right? It happens all the time. So the way to let go is a lot of things can show up. Realizing holding on to the past is all subjective. They're subjective at that point in time, not the future. So that way you can live better. Don't carry around a 50 time brick and don't carry around those experiences the rest of your life. As always, you guys, click the bottom, comment, hit the like button, subscribe. And always, I do have a podcast called Life's a Shuffle. So if you can't see me, you can also hear me in a way that work because I'm trying to make sure everybody can live a better life and all of us have the choice and the power within us. As always, thanks for listening. And of course, Ron Johnson, Life Coach.